At RDU tonight, we saw several Tampa-based flights land with people hoping to get to safety before the storm. WRL's Julian Grace is live at RDU. Julian, you spoke with a couple who just returned from Florida. We did, Ashley, and let me set the scene here for you. About eight flights from Florida flew into RDU this evening, and everyone we spoke with tonight said they wanted to make it here before Milton arrived. As Hurricane Milton approaches, a sense of relief washes over some landing at RDU. How grateful are you to be back in Raleigh? How grateful are you to be Thank here? Thank God we came back when we did because it, this storm is going to be a monster. Joe DeMarco flew in from Orlando where he and his family wrapped up a trip at Disney. But on their way back home, they started seeing signs that a Category 5 hurricane was on the horizon. Milton is expected to make landfall late Wednesday into Thursday, potentially dumping up to 15 inches of rain in some parts of Florida. We counted eight flights arriving at RDU from Florida, coming in from Tampa, Orlando, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. And these passengers know Milton's arrival is less than two weeks after Helene left more than 200 dead and thousands were flooded and damaged homes in and around North Carolina. It's just the timing of it was that we missed one thing, but Luckily, we got back in time, so we didn't have to be involved in this one. Out of the eight flights arriving from Florida, three were delayed, which included flight 3372 from Tampa. It's a city that is getting ready for a storm that could bring more than 10 feet of water. Tim Snyder left Tampa this afternoon. He's relieved to be back, but he can't help thinking about what's to come. Thank God. Thank God. I mean, just because from what uh, what happened in the mountains in western North Carolina, um, my thoughts and prayers are with every one of them people up there um, just to, you know, see what the devastation that it did and the devastation that the Hurricane Milton could do to Florida. Coming back out here live right now, 51 Florida counties are under a state of emergency with Tampa International shutting down operations tomorrow morning and also Orlando shutting down operations as well. That just goes to show how urgent passengers were to get to another destination. For now, reporting live at RDU, Julian Grace, WRL News. All right.